Yes guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, I've got some old footage here. It's not actually that old, it's a few weeks old. Um, and it's actually a half of a game in which I played left back. Now, I just wanted to review this footage and show it on camera because I think I played quite well. And it's something new for you guys to see. You see me play in centre mid a lot, uh, cam, sometimes out wide. But don't usually see me play at full back. I play about 40 minutes, I think. At left back and now I don't have to do the most but the things I do I was really quite happy with and so I've just got a little highlight reel of what I've done and I'm going to go over the things I do and show you so let's get straight into the video so, so this game was actually a pre-season friendly against a team called Soccer Elite FA now they have quite a strong team it wasn't the best team we're going to face but they were a decent level so they were a good match. We ended up winning the game 1-0. Um, so it was a good game and a good result. So here we have the first clip of the game. As you can see here, there's a man driving at me. I'm the one on the left. Now he tries splitting me and the centre back playing a ball through. But because I've split the winger and him, as you can see, I stop and don't fully commit, but still put enough pressure on him to make him play a pass therefore it means he plays a ball and I can intercept it and it's not the greatest ball either and I managed to make the tackle and a play out a very simple thing here the man's putting pressure on me I just play it inside to the man I can see and it's just a pass completed but as you can see there we get a bit confused I start going forward literally as he's about to pass it so as you can see uh, it will stop here I start moving and then he passes it backwards and obviously that confuses us a bit but that's just a bit of communication that we need to work on. Here we have another simple play, the ball's bouncing to me, the man's putting a decent amount of pressure on me so I just play it into my winger who's in front of me, that's a good way to get the pressure off you um, when you're in a position where potentially a counter attack could be quite dangerous. At this point I played into my winger a few times so when our midfielder plays it back here I reverse it. Just a very simple reverse ball into the space in the middle. As you can see Morgan's unmarked there. There's three of them on me. It creates a bit of space and we can make an attack. So I was playing quite risky as a fullback at most times but I seemed to pay off because the balls that these guys were making were quite poor. So as you can see I intercept it here and I do try and switch the play. Now, I'm taking 50% blame for this because I was trying to put it miles in front of him. And as you can see, I angled my body to kick it that way as well. Um, I should have taken the wind into account. That's that's my fault, so that's my 50%. But then also, there is little you can do against Mother Nature. There's like only so much you can do. So I just need to take the wind into account when I do that next time. Once again, as I said, I when I saw the ball, I gambled. I stopped following the runner and I made sure I got there first. So you see, I've got time here. Just play it into Morgan in the middle again. He plays it back to me, seeing so no option forward. Just turn away from a man here. Play it wide. Ryan's got two on him now, so he does lose out here. But I try and stop this counter-attack. I win the ball back. I'm driving forward here. And now I'll play it inside. I probably should go a bit wider. I'm getting forward, obviously, which is a good thing as a fullback. But I want to go wider there, and I'll give another option. So if, when we get there again, I want to be hugging the touchline because as you can see, uh, so Morgan plays back, uh, turn away from that man and Ryan's wide here and he's on the line which is where I want to be when I'm attacking but because Ryan's deep, so Ryan's behind me now since I've gone forward, I need to be the one on the line whereas I can't take an up front position instead. So here we have the ball rolled out to me, I know there's pressure from behind, so I'm just looking forward to see what my options are. Ryan's kind of cut off there, and I'm on my weak foot, so I just turn back, then play it simple to him down the line rather than putting one over the top, because if I try that with my weak foot, obviously i got to trust it, but I want to make sure that we keep possession of the ball, so that's why I cut back, wait for him to get in a better position and just play a simple one down the line. What is he doing? I think my main weakness if I play fullback is my lack of being that fast and obviously this winger goes well and I think I do really well here because I win that ball there and it comes back off him. Uh, I was very very happy with that challenge. It did make my knee uh, bleed quite a lot but I was very happy as you can see just clean him out just after he was about to put across. So similar situation here, I'm 
perhaps a little bit higher, probably should have dropped a bit earlier, but they put the ball over the top this time. Now, I know this guy doesn't want it now. On the wing, he does not want it, so he's only going to put in a cross. Um, so, realistically, where I paused it there, I should have pushed out and got a lot closer, a lot quicker, because I kind of allowed him the space to get across. Eventually, it was a poor cross anyways, so it was all right, but next time, I want to get slightly tighter. Here we have a short free kick, I just play it simple, plays back to me and then here this guy gets sent twice, now you can't quite see it as well but he gets done and sadly I just muck it up with a poor pass, um, I can blame my weak foot for that but it should be better than that and that annoyed me because it ruined a quite nice move from me so I was slightly annoyed with that. Here they have quite a few men forward, it's four against the four. Now we're all close and compact because the real danger is in the middle. Now obviously there are two men out wide, but they cannot really score from there. They'd be very, very unlucky if we conceded from an angle like that. So what we do as a defence is we compact, uh, we watch the people out wide, wary of them, but we're focusing on trying to win the ball back in the middle where the real danger is. And as you can see, the guy tries taking it wide. Um, he can't get around me, I'll win the ball back. And very annoyingly, I try play it, but the referee, I couldn't see their player behind. Now, I paused it at that exact moment. I could not see him, and it's very annoying because I try playing our player through, and then he just appeared once the ref moved. I was slightly frustrated with that. This time, a very similar position to last. We're not marking the men out wide because danger's in the middle. As you can see, I win it back again. At this point, I just clear it. I'm not trying to find the player. Um, we're under quite a lot of pe pressure inside our own penalty area, so I'm just trying to get rid of it, and that's what I do. So they clip a ball down the line here, their winger being lazy, he doesn't expect me to come. I get it down, Ryan takes it off me, we do lose out here, but as you see we get it back after poor control from them. I just play it all the way straight back to the goalie, so we can reset, get back in position, and play out from the back. So here we have, we have a poor ball played out to the fast winger, so he's obviously getting me there. I'm sitting a bit off because I know he wants to beat me one on one. Um, I do see Ryan come in eventually, so I allow him inside because I'm blocking the line and Ryan's on my right hand shoulder, so it means there's two of us that he's got to beat, which uh, pretty much makes it impossible to do because there's basically a line in front of him which he can't get past. So we work together there, we run the ball back, and that is the end of the highlights I have for this video. Don't we got a close up of your face when you got smashing the balls? Okay, so I don't know how long this video is, it's probably a little shorter than usual because I only played a certain amount of time at left back, but I did enjoy playing there and I actually thought I did quite well, so um, that was good fun. <coughs> However, uh, that is the end of the video, I hope you have enjoyed. As always, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, hit the notifications, and we're on the way to 3k, so it would be massive help if you could help this video do well and help us get along to 3k that'd be massive help so thank you very much for watching and as always keep training